First games you should never play. Part 9, Red Door, Yellow Door. This game takes at least two to play, but you can also have an audience watching. One person will be the guide, the other will be the subject. The guide sits on the floor with their legs crossed and a pillow in their lap. The subject then lies on the ground and puts their head on the pillow. Then the guide should start massaging the temple of the subject's head. And in the meantime, chanting Red Door, Yellow Door, any other color. This one's a little weirder than the others. The subject should then fall into a trance in their mind and end up in a room. The guide will then start asking questions, and the subject should answer those questions and try to describe the room as well as possible. Such as what color the doors are, how they feel about the room, and what doors to go into. The subject should answer all these questions honestly until the guide decides to end the game. Some advice along the way is that light colors are better than dark colors. Don't interact with anyone you see. If you see a man in a suit, you should leave immediately. And if you die in this world, some say you might die in the real world. Games to never play on Roblox. Part 4. Swan Location. So if you want to join this game, you have to first join a game called Mugen. Then you have to look for a painting that looks like this. When you find it, jump into it. Because if you jump into it, you will spawn in Swan Location. In Swan Location there will be a lot of spawn points. But if you see a black spawn point, don't touch it. Because it will shrink, and when it does, there is a 1 in 1000 chance that your account will be deleted. Okay, we're here. Okay, let's find that portal. I guess it's over there. There it is. Ooh. What the fuck? Okay, let's just find that black portal thingy. There. And he am I scared? Why, what the fuck? No! I think it's angry at me. Okay, let's go down this time. Well, fuck. Cursed Games You Don't Want to Play, Part 48. The One Hour Ritual. If you play this game correctly, you will receive one hour of good luck every day for the rest of your life. However, even the smallest of mistakes will result in a punishment worse than death. To begin the ritual, you will need to summon the players, which are the souls of people who have previously attempted the game and failed. To do this, you will need a single white candle, a large hourglass, and an assortment of building materials, such as wood, fabric, and nails. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to wait until the witching hour before placing the lit candle in the center of your home. This will represent your soul. Next, you'll need to hold the hourglass above the candle while saying the words, I seek to do what you could not, to avoid the fate your failures brought. Once you have said these words three times in succession, you may flip the hourglass, and the game can begin. For the next hour, you will need to use the building materials you collected earlier to cover every possible entrance to your home. This includes windows and doors, but also peepholes, chimneys, and cracks. If you can do this before the hourglass expires, you'll win the game and receive your reward. However, if you cannot complete the task in the assigned time, your candle will go out and the players will come to collect your soul, adding you to their ranks and imprisoning you for eternity. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Games you should not play in Roblox. Your mom. So your mom is in Roblox game which has no player playing it. Your mom game has a tall, fast monster wick is chasing you. Here's a clip of me playing.
That's the monster. As you can see, I'm going to the ladder, which is safety. That's all the info I got. Stay safe, y'all. Terrifying games you don't want to play, part 29. The Devil's Dice. Playing this game can be quite rewarding, but be warned. Since it leaves your fate entirely up to luck, it can also be quite dangerous. All you'll need to play the game is a piece of chalk, writing utensils, and a single six-sided die. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to wait until midnight before writing the words, I submit my fate to the dice on a piece of paper. As soon as you sign that paper, the game can begin. Using your chalk, you'll need to draw a circle on the ground. This is where you will roll your dice. Each of the different sides of the dice represents a unique fortune which could be yours. If you roll anything numbered 1 through 5, you're in luck. These are good fortunes and the rewards will be plentiful. But if you're unlucky enough to roll a 6, there is only one fate in store for you. A slow and painful death in the near future. This game can be played multiple times for different rewards. For example, if your first roll lands on the number representing true love, you can roll again for wealth or longevity of life. But be warned, every time you roll, there is a chance you'll land on the 6 and lose it all. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Terrifying Games You Don't Want to Play Part 38 Shadows on the Wall Playing this game is quite simple, and you will be rewarded greatly if you win. However, it won't be easy and the consequences for losing are high. To play this game, you'll need to summon the Shadow People. To do this, you will need a large candle for every room in your house, as well as one for yourself. You will also need a piece of chalk. Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to wait until dusk to begin. Once it has arrived, you may take your candles and position them throughout your house, lighting them as you go. It's important that there's at least one in every room. Once you have completed this task, you'll need to enter your bedroom and draw a chalk man on the wall next to your bed. The size and design of this man don't matter. Finally, you'll need to stand across the room from the chalk drawing and repeat this rhyme. Shadows on the wall, I see you every day. Shadows on the wall, I bid thee come and play. If the chalk drawing begins to move towards you, you'll know that you have succeeded and the shadow people have entered your home. From this point forward, you'll need to move very quickly. Your task will be to exit your home without allowing your shadow to be captured by the people hiding in the darkness on your wall. You can use your candle to ward off these evil spirits, but remember, they are cunning and the light only causes more shadows to appear. If you can successfully escape, you will become like a shadow yourself, able to disappear in plain sight whenever it suits you. However, if you are caught, the shadow people will be able to exit your wall, and they will drag you into the midnight realm for daring to summon them. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Name of the game is Mr. Ugly. Find out which one of you Mr. Ugly has taken as the host and you'll win the game one hour before midnight and you need three friends to play and in front of the mirror one on the left one on the right and one in the middle mr ugly mr ugly which one of us will you take mr ugly has now possessed one of your friends find out which one it is mr ugly can't laugh so each friend must tell a joke mr ugly can't love each friend must tell each other they love them doesn't like water each friend point at Mr. Ugly, once you find out who he's hosting, host will become free of the spirit. Everybody make a wish in the mirror. Here to join the live stream.